this is Ruby Realness. I know I'm looking a little bit crazy right now. I have done half of my, well not half of my face, only one of my eyes. And I'll be making a separate tutorial, a separate video on how to make this eye on this eye. So if you would like to see that, please check out my other um, video. For this video, I'm going to be making that quick little um, a review or give my opinion on the Fenty Beauty foundation that I bought and on the Anastasia products that are for contouring the face. So please keep watching because that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Okay guys, so I already used the primer I had showed in my um, mini haul. The primer which is Hangover RX by Hard Candy. I already gave my opinion on that on the video before so if you haven't watched my mini haul, please watch that. So I already have that on my face and now we'll be getting straight into the Fenty Beauty Foundation. It is in the tone 240. Yep, 240. Um, I didn't know what tone I was so I asked the one of the workers from Sephora, one of the makeup artists, and she told me that this was my skin tone. It looks way much more lighter um, on camera and personally, but it, you know, it pretty much matches my neck and my face, so I think she was, you know, right. Now, I'll be going straight into it. I just put a little bit on my finger because this product retails for about $34, if I am correct. I'm pretty sure it was $34. So, I try to not go crazy, you know? I just put a pretty thin layer. I already went into my face with the Sephora concealer, which I also talked about in my mini haul. Um, I used that as a base for my eyes to put on before putting on the eyeshadow and I put some on on my acne because my skin has been going crazy with the heat and because I've been eating chocolate which I'm not supposed to but I love chocolate I ate some white chocolate Kit Kats yesterday and that broke me out as well as the heat and the humidity here in the tropics since I do live on a tropical island Anyways, I dabbed on the Fenty Beauty foundation on my face like so. I'm taking my blending um, foundation brush, however you want to call these, and I'm just blending it into my skin. ombre brown to blonde wig the one which I shown before in my previous tutorials so I'll be wearing that so I'll be teaching you guys how to conceal your eyebrows if you you know want to change your eyebrows because you're gonna be wearing a wig um, or a weave or lace front if you're doing it for cosplay just for fun or just because you want to change your image I'll be showing you guys how to do that so if you get some foundation on your eyebrows you don't have to sweat it um this foundation, I just put one layer. So, I'm closing up my skin, I'm putting on the light, I don't know if you can see, putting on my lead light. So, as I mentioned earlier, my skin is having some breakouts. It also had really bad breakouts when I was in high school. Therefore, I have some scars. This is one layer of Fenty Beauty foundation, as you saw earlier. I did use, you know, I didn't use a little bit, I used quite a bit. And you can still see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, you can still see some of the scars and you can still see you know the pimples that I have and whatever that are coming out right now so what I have to say about this foundation it's a good foundation it feels nice on my face I do not feel like I'm gonna die of heat I don't feel like I have a cake face and that is really good for if you live on a tropical island which I in my case I do and it's very hot and it's very humid Later, I'll be taking a picture or a quick video to show you guys how my face will be holding out through the day since today I will be going out on a date with my boyfriend. So, you know, I'll give you guys the opportunity to see how my foundation holds out throughout the day. But as you guys can see, this foundation is not a full coverage foundation. In my opinion, it is not a full coverage foundation. It's very liquidy. It's not creamy. It's not heavy. 
So it doesn't overwhelm my skin, which is what I like. It lets my skin breathe and it feels good. And it looks good because, you know, unless you get really close up to my face, it looks like I have baby skin. So I can't say that it's a bad foundation, but I, if you want a full coverage foundation, I would not recommend this unless you're going to use two layers or three layers. Right now, I don't think I'm going to over layer it because it's really hot and I'm already sweating. So I think I will just pop a little bit more of Sephora's concealer and just keep it at that. But if you're looking, as I mentioned earlier, look, you're looking for a full coverage foundation, maybe you will have to do a few layers. Or, you know, if you're just looking for something to let your skin breathe, or if you have really good skin and you don't need that much coverage, then this is for you. And other than that, the smell, it doesn't have any smell in particular. It doesn't smell bad, which is good because I like my foundations to smell good. I cannot have a product on my face if it's going to smell bad or if it's going to smell overwhelming. So this has a really, really good scent and a really good feel to it. Now I'm going in with my Sephora concealer just one more time on those areas that I want a little bit more coverage. Of course, there's different ways of concealing your face. Um, there are the concealers that are colorful, which, you know, have different purposes, like to conceal different things, redness, dullness, but I won't be doing that in this video. I want to keep it a little bit more on the simple side. And you can go in with the same brush or with a beauty blender with whatever you have. But right now, I'm going to go in with my flat, fishy, I use this for foundation, I use this for concealer. I feel that this gives more of a full coverage because it doesn't rip the product off of your face. It just kind of packs it into your face or you can make believe you're painting a canvas. Um, I love art. I'm actually doing a bachelor's degree in art. So to me makeup is like a way to express myself, express how I'm feeling, to cosplay, to have fun. So, making believe I'm painting my face is actually, you know, fun. And it gives a pretty good coverage. I feel like that is perfect. Obviously, these little guys, you know, let's just give them names. This one will be Mark and this one will be Pablo. They're just, you know, they're gonna be there. They're bumps and there's really no way to hide that. So, embrace your skin and embrace Mark and Pablo. next step will be contouring as you may have noticed in my previous mini haul video I showed Anastasia's stick contour which are these guys and I also showed the contour palette which is this guy I won't be using this guy for this tutorial um, and I also I was thinking about mixing it with a stick um, contours but I don't really want to do that I want to show them individually so for my next video stay tuned if you're interested on seeing how those work I think I'll just be like literally putting them on and then taking them off so that I could try each one and see which one fits better my skin tone and so that you could just see how they each perform how they each look for this video I'll be using these stick um, foundations or stick contour one is in the color porcelain and one is in the color espresso now what I do with these guys, I've already used them. I'm going to be honest, I've already used these guys before. So I kind of know how to handle them. If you're darker than me, Espresso will be perfect for you. Now, if you're tan, you know, like a tannish, caramelish color like me, I go in with my Wet n Wild in the color Oak on You. It's like a dark caramel color. I can swatch. That's how it looks. And I contour first. Second thing is to take the espresso and the areas of your face that you want to be darker, you chisel them out. Oh, like, in other words, I'm not putting the espresso contour stick all over my face because look at how dark it is. Look at the difference. It is way too dark. So I just put it on the, on the parts of my face that I want to be more chiseled out, that I want to be more prominent, like so. Then, as you see, I didn't take the espresso all over my face I did it just on certain areas I go in with porcelain like I would with any other highlighting stick taking the 
same concealer foundation brush and then I'm going to be blending out the highlight like so. I do not want to dirty it with the dark color. I don't want to get it mixed, I don't want it to turn um, darker. So my thoughts on this liquid contour is that I absolutely love the Espresso contour stick or foundation stick. It's a nice dark color, I can't put on too much of it because it would probably give me too much of a contour on my face. And I like my contours to be a little bit more natural-ish. Um, even though this makeup look is not on the natural side whatsoever, um, I like it. It's extremely creamy. The espresso color is extremely creamy. I love the way it blends. Now, what's strange is that the porcelain color, even though I figure it's pretty much the same formula because they're both the Anastasia brand, I noticed that the porcelain color, which is, let me just swatch this up here, it is not as creamy. It actually kind of cracks on my skin. I don't even know if you can tell, but the espresso is really creamy, and then the porcelain is more of a thick, um, it even cracks a little bit. So I have to blend this out with more enthusiasm. I really have to blend out the porcelain way much more than I would the espresso because the espresso is so creamy that I just kind of blend it out and it, you know, it goes perfectly onto the skin, it just glides onto the skin. So I absolutely love the espresso contour stick and I love the porcelain one also, but I have to take, you know, more time blending it out so that there's no patchiness or cakiness, even though I have not had that problem the few times that I have worn it, worn these on um, Anastasia um, contour foundation sticks, I haven't had any problem with patching up or anything like that. So I absolutely love the formula. I love how the espresso mixes with the Wet n Wild contour stick. And I love how it looks with the Fenty Beauty Foundation. Actually, I don't think I would be able to use a thicker foundation with these contour sticks because it would probably just be like too much heaviness, too much heat on my face. So I think that the formula of Fenty Beauty being a middle coverage is perfect with the amount of contour and with the amount of concealer that I'm putting on. Because if it would be thicker, it would just be way too much for my skin to handle. So I think that this is perfect. Um, I hope you guys found this video useful. I'm going to go straight into baking my face and then using, you know, my normal powder. will just be a video hope you enjoyed please comment if you would like any more reviews any more tutorials give me videos just help me feel motivated and thank you guys so much for watching and for liking thank you love you